Okay, here's the quick version of programming the HeatCon HCS 9200 series. So I have a heat uh, vacuum bag built. We're using house vacuum. So I'm connected to the house vacuum and I have a vacuum connection that goes from the vacuum bag into the bonder. So I'm gonna be able to read vacuum. So it's connected to the vacuum monitor. So that's gonna give me a vacuum indication once I turn this thing on. I have three thermocouples plugged in going into the vacuum bag. So we'll turn it on. Uh, just a reminder, you have to have your input power connected to the house power. And I have another one connected for zone two, although we're not using that. The computer is going to go through a self test and it'll come up to go through a welcome screen. And eventually it's going to settle out on the home screen, which should come up here in a second. Actually, let me press escape and it'll go to the home screen. So this is generally the home screen for this machine. Immediately you can see this reading temperature on these three thermocouples. So 92, 88, and 84. Notice that your hot thermocouple is gonna show up in red. The one that's coldest is gonna show up in blue. So to program, I'm gonna press number one. So once I press number one, it goes to the program screen. We're gonna program zone number one. So this is zone one. So zone one there, the rectangle, the white box allows me to change that. Uh, it's what I want it at, I want zone one, so I'm gonna press enter. I'm gonna to go to the next rectangle down, program number one. Yep, that's the one that I wanna change. So I'm gonna press enter or that's the one we're gonna program and use. Do I wanna change program? Yes, I do. Press up arrow, it says yes. I'm gonna press enter and it goes to the other side of the screen. So I'm just gonna run through this quickly. We're going to do a two soak repair. Um, that first ramp rate is five degrees per minute. If I want to change that, I'm going to press the left arrow. And if I want to change it to six, I'm going to press six. You'll notice that the indicator says six. And at that point, I'm going to press enter. Then it's going to go down to the next step. So I'm just going to come up with some numbers here just to go through the process of changing. So temp two, we're going to change it to 175, I'm sorry, temp one, temp one, we're gonna change this 175. So press the left arrow, press 175, enter, and it's gonna say 175. Then it's gonna ask me another question. What is the dwell time for dwell number one? We're gonna change it to 50 minutes. So left arrow, press five zero, hit enter. Then it asks me ramp two, what is the rate? Uh, again, we're going to change this. I'm going to press left arrow. We're going to change it to six for whatever reason. Your cure is going to determine what you're going to select. And then I'll press enter. Oop, I went too many times. So I'm just going to press enter till it cycles back down. Dwell number two. We're going to change it to uh, 240. 240, press enter. Dwell time, I'm going to change it to 70. Uh, ramp 3, again, ramp 3 is always the down ramp. So ramp 1 is an up ramp. Ramp 2 is always an up ramp also. And then ramp 3 is always a down ramp. Press enter. Uh, it allows me to select a end temperature. It's 80 degrees. 
Uh, I'm going to change that to Seventy degrees. Actually, we'll do sixty-five degrees. Low vacuum alarm that allows you to determine what your vacuum is uh, as far as the low vacuum alarm. <clears throat> so let's escape here real quick. I'm going to hit escape one time, and we're going to go check and see what our vacuum is presently reading on this input. So I'm going to press escape one time. It's going to ask me, do I want to save the program? Yes, I do. We're going to come back and change this here in a bit if we need to, but I'm going to select yes. Do I want to program, uh, run the program? No. So I'm going to press the up arrow and it changes to no. Press enter and I'm going to press escape. So it's all saved. That first program is saved and it's going to be working in zone number one. I'm going to hit escape one time, two times actually, and it's going to take me back to the home screen and it lets me see exactly what my vacuum is. Right now it's at 22 degrees. So as we talked about before, um, at the schoolhouse we usually set our vacuum alarms to three below what your bonder reads. So I'm reading 22, I would set it to 19. So let's go back into the program, hit number one. It allows me to go to the program. I'm in zone one, we're gonna stay there. We wanna change program number one. I'm gonna hit, hit enter and it says one, that is correct. Hit enter one more time. Do I wanna change it? Yes, I do. I'm gonna hit the up arrow. It changes to yes. I'm gonna hit enter and the indicator goes to the, the right hand side of the screen. So I'm gonna hit enter because I don't need to change any of these up here. We've already changed those and saved before. I'm gonna go down to the point where it gets to the low vacuum alarm. Uh, as a matter of fact, it already says, it says 17. I'm gonna change it to 19. So I'm gonna hit the left arrow several times and hit one nine, press enter and you're good. Uh, we're going to change our high-low alarms across the board to plus or minus 25. So, left arrow several times, press 2-5, enter. Left arrow several times, press 2-5, enter. And you'll see that each one of those is changing to 25. Each time you enter data, you have to press enter. If you just down arrow to the next spot without pressing enter, it's not going to save your inputs. So always make sure that you press enter. It's kind of like a carriage return when you're dealing with a uh, a computer, you know, word processor or whatever it is, uh, possibly in Windows or a Macintosh, whatever you're using. Anyways, press left arrow several times, press two five, enter. Left arrow several times, two five, enter. So all my high lows are showing at 25. So I'll press enter one more time. It goes to the very top of the program. I'm gonna hit escape one time. It goes over to the save program indicator. I do wanna save it, so I'm gonna press enter. Do I wanna run the program? Uh, yes, we do, because we have good vacuum. We got a connection for vacuum into the bonder, and then we have three thermocouples connected. So I'm gonna hit enter. It's going to ask me, uh, do I want to input a part number? So you could put a part number there. I'm just going to leave it at zero. A tag number, possibly 350 tag. I'm going to leave it at zero. And then an operator number, possibly a man number. I'm going to leave it at zero also. I'm going to press enter one more time. You're going to see that the screen is going to change to the cure screen. So this gives you lots of good data and we'll talk about it here in a second. Notice that the start the program indicator is blinking. That wants me to press enter one time. And you'll notice it. you just heard a click. As soon as it clicks, you're gonna see that it starts ramping. The printer is gonna print out and give you an indication of what your program is gonna do. 
sometimes on these machines, you'll get an alarm that tells you that there's a failure to increase temperature or something to that effect. What you can do is you can bypass that alarm or move past the alarm, the glitch in the computer, press the right arrow and it'll go past that. It didn't give me that alarm this time, so I can't show you that. Anytime you get an alarm, by the way, it's going to give you an indication or an idea what keys to press to either cure the alarm or bypass it or whatever it might be. So you can see it gives us all good information. It's presently ramping. We're at program number one. I didn't put a part number. I didn't put a tag number. I didn't put an operator number. It shows me graphically what's going on. Each one of these hash marks equals 10 minutes. So it gives you an idea of what, how your cure is going to happen. So it's presently ramping up. The green line is what it's programmed to do. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little yellow line that's forming. That's actually what the program is doing. So this is what it wants to do in green in yellow is what it's actually doing. So it shows you the temperatures as they go up and down. Tells me my present temperatures on the, of the uh, thermocouples. So you can see that they're increasing in temperature. The lead thermocouple is 98. Uh, the lagging thermocouple is 93. It's shown in blue. Lead thermocouple, the hot thermocouple, is shown in red. Right now, it's that up arrow right here in the mode. It shows me that it's in a ramp up. The ramp rate is six degrees per minute. The set point, which means where does the computer wanna be at any one point in time? It wants to be at 99 degrees. The temperature is actually at 99 degrees. And notice that the set point changed to 100 and then the actual temperature will follow that. So the temperature and the set point will always possibly be a little bit divergent, especially if it's ramping. And then uh, the total time for the repair is 181 minutes. The time left in the total repair is 178 minutes. And then step time, which means we are in a ramp right now, it's gonna take us 12 minutes to get to, I think we programmed 150 degrees, if I'm not mistaken, either that or 175. Uh, I can't remember. But point being, it's gonna take us 12 minutes to get to complete the ramp to start the first dwell. Uh, gives you indications here of what you can press as far as um, if you wanna change something. I can stop the program now if I wanted to. Uh, I can print a status line. I can create a hold in the program, which means it'll, it'll freeze the program. So if I held the program right now, it would freeze it at about 108 degrees. Uh, let me see here. We can silence an alarm. 